Howdy folks, we are coming to you from the new property in Shakota. Uh, we're going to be doing some uh, trail clearing today. We've got a brush hog coming tomorrow. We're going to clear out some pasture area, so we figured we'd take you guys along for the journey with us. Boys are over here working on getting the truck unloaded. We've got this um, side by side and a little ATV trailer that I picked up, oh, not that long ago. I uh, got a really good deal on this phenomenal deal, which we're going to need to get to the back back areas pretty easily. We're going to unload this thing, unload some chainsaws, and we will see you all down at the trail. This tree has got to go. This is actually a drive of sorts to get to the pasture area and the remnants of what, what, once, what, what once was a lean-to. Words are hard. And uh, I'm gonna make it a lean-to again. And so I've still got posts and stuff. So let's clear this jungle out of the way and get to, get to getting back to the trail.
So we got a lot cleared. Now we have a clear path uh, to drive back to the pond on the mule. So we have loaded up some fishing poles and uh, we're gonna go do some exploratory fishing out back of the pond. So now we will see you all down at the water. Well, here we are. I have actually cleared out another couple areas of bank. So we've got some bank fishing areas now. Um, I've got this spot and we'll, uh, we'll have a brush hog out here tomorrow. So we'll get this really cleared down so that way we're not traveling too much in state, state territory. Um, but now we've got two, three-ish different spots to fish from the bank. But um, I'm gonna bring the John boat down either tomorrow or some other time. I'll probably bring one of the small John boats and we'll slip it on in there and we can fish the whole thing pretty easily. So let's get rigged up and let's get some lines in the water. Fish. There we go. I bet they're like way up in that area. fished here for a little while didn't get any bites but it is like midday and it's like 90 degrees out so even if there are bass in there it'd be tough to uh, get a bead on them we see stuff jumping out on the water we see stuff and I think I mean it looks like it's about the size of either pretty big bluegills or maybe like little bass and then like the occasional smaller stuff like bait fish like you know minnows or shad or something <clears throat> so there's something in there we just got to find out once we get the boat down here it'll be easier to get in there and also get a good read on the depth of the pond and get a good idea of what's going on in this pond before we start stocking it because i don't want to start throwing you know go catching some bass and throw some big bass in here if there's already like a ton of big giant bass in here and then you know they have the bass just decimate the uh the feeder fish population or anything like that so um we're going to do some more exploring around check out check out some more areas of the property that we haven't quite gotten a good look at we've cleared some pretty decent trail trail around the pond trail back to the house we're going to take a, a good look see around and we've got a pretty good bead on the quality and condition of the fence it looks like we're mostly fenced um, pretty decent uh, quality of barbed wire it's not too run down or anything like that with the exception of our south side we've got uh, bits there that are um, down or you know, like falling apart and stuff like that so we'll be back out tomorrow and when the brush hog guy gets here uh, he'll hop in the meal we're gonna do some exploring we'll see you tomorrow there are so many rabbits out right now so many of them well there's one right there just went under the barn that'll be something to get later hiding in the grass. Nope. Got him. Bunny, where are you going? Where are you going, Bunny? Oop, that was smarter. So we had a couple of new developments since Don't yesterday. Um, yesterday, the plan was today, we're gonna have a guy come brush hog. But then a friend of ours, his dad, turns out he has a tractor and a brush hog and he offered a brush hog for free. 
So I can't pass up that um, brush hogging for free situation. So um, we came down here today and uh, I'm walking over to my neighbors to give them my card with my phone number because they offered to let me keep my zero turn and my side-by-side, uh, -side, the mule down there, which is real nice. And apparently we picked up a random dog from the woods. He followed us back when we were in the trails in the side-by-side. -side. We're gonna actually return out here uh, later on this weekend because the friend of mine's dad who has the brush hog is coming by this weekend to help out um, and he's doing it for absolutely free which is super nice of him so we're gonna come out and cut some more trails he's gonna do some brush hogging and it'll start to it'll start to begin to look like a farm so we will catch you all this weekend Paco, you can't come with me. Buddy, you're not you're not going on a ride. I don't know where you come from. Paco, go home! Go Stop home, following Paco. us! We're about to get on the highway. It's 55 miles an hour. It's dangerous. Go home, Paco! Goodness gracious, this dog is following me down the highway. Get out of here, Paco. Get out of here, Paco! Okay. He's finally stopped. Goodness. Larry. Larry done some brush hogging. Let's see if we can find Larry. Larry! Larry! Well, we've got, we have some yard. We have pasture underneath all that mess that was here before. The guy I was, I did have scheduled out here is gonna cost me about 700 bucks. And uh, Larry is just a kind enough individual to do it for free. I owe him a huge favor now, but he's out at the very back um, starting on that. When it's all said and done, we are gonna have we're gonna have some pasture land. And I'm looking over here, that's gonna be an area for the chickens. Uh, I'm gonna build a fence, build a coop. Looking over here, uh, right about here actually, we're gonna have uh, rabbits set up. And then once I clear all of these uh, trees off the fence, that'll be the area that we feed the goats, but the goats are gonna graze all, um, all in this pasture area for now. Today, this morning actually, uh, while I was waiting on Larry to come out, we went up to the, I went up to the uh, North Canadian and I did a little bit of gar fishing. So the next video, I will show you guys um, a gar catch clean cook, okay? It's absolutely delicious fish. You guys have to try it sometime, but that will be, um, that will be another video at another time. So, um, I'm gonna get back there and I'm gonna continue to get to work till the sun goes down. Once we run out of daylight, I'm gonna go home and then I'll come back to my new home to work tomorrow morning. So, catch you guys later. Good morning. Should be the final day, final morning of the land clearing, brush clearing. As y'all can see, um, Larry is making some headway. Um, all of this is clear and I'll tell you what what the whole field was basically an entire field of this Nonsense, I mean look at it here. It's about You know waist high um, and in some areas it's like chest high and some of its briar patches and thorns and all un unsavory things of that nature but Larry's a huge help over there on his John Deere um, Running the brush hog. So he got here at the crack of dawn. I'm gonna come behind him and clean up some stuff like these small trees I'm gonna take that out I mean this is just um, that's just another pecan I have so many pecan trees out here I can live without this little tiny pecan tree we've got plenty of those on the property we don't need any more um, I think I might leave this guy though um, 
think I might leave that just as a nice little bush bushy tree to have here but anyhow I'm gonna um, grab the chainsaw and get to getting well, that'll put a pep in your step this morning as I am over here elbows deep in this tree chainsawing away <laughs> I found ourselves a little buddy right here where are you at where's your face there you go there you are I'm sorry I didn't mean to just take over your home here um, but you're gonna have to go we're gonna have to relocate you I'm gonna have to determine right quick um, if you're venomous and I am not a very good I'm not a very good snake expert if you are not 100% certain that a snake is venomous probably a good idea not to touch it so I'm gonna do a little bit of research real quick uh, comment below if you guys know what snake this is um, I'm always bad at trying to figure out if it's a water moccasin or a black rat snake and I know snake experts will be like, well, there's clear differences, but for whatever reason, I never can get those two straight. Black rat snakes are actually useful snakes to have around the property and they're non-venomous. However, water moccasins, uh, they'll bite you and uh, it won't be great. So uh, let me try and figure this thing, this situation out and maybe relocate this guy somewhere else and uh, unfortunately I do not have my uh, GoPro mount so I don't think I can video this at the same time as handling him so if this is where the video ends it's because I died sorry folks all right I have determined that I cannot determine what this snake is um, comment below if you guys know but because I don't know for sure if it's venomous I can't just execute him that ain't fair you know everyone has a right to a trial even if you're a snake so I'm gonna try and get him on out of this tree um, and I'm doing it one-handed because I'm gonna go ahead and get the video anyways even though I don't have the mountain that's probably not the smartest thing to do um, when encountering a potentially deadly snake uh, where did he go Ooh, that's always a good question keep your eyes on the snake Matt Oh, there he is. Okay. He's kind of slithering away down in there. Um, yeah, I didn't want to just execute him without, you know, without a good cause. That's just not fair to that snake. Could be black rat snake. And I like that black rat snakes on my property because they eat rodents and such. Well, hopefully that snake slithered off somewhere while I was uh, chopping up the rest of that tree because Larry is almost definitely going to come back through here with the brush hog and uh, munch all that up. So hopefully he made it to safety, unless he's a water moccasin. While I was uh, rooting around over here, speaking of rooting around, look what I found all up under this tree here. See that, folks? That is a mud wallow and I've been finding them since we've been brush hogging um, around on quite a few of my trees on the property uh, even some as close as to the houses like 40 yards away from the house itself so those mud wallows are from wild pigs so I had initially thought that I hadn't seen too much of uh, destruction of the property things are torn up from the uh, pigs because um, we knew that there was wild pigs from the first video that I did when we were out here and last night, Larry saw a pig um, while he was out here as well. So we know there's pigs out here, but I didn't know the extent of any damage that they're doing. Right now, it's not too bad, but it can get worse. So first things first, in the moment that we get moved in, um, y'all are probably going to see a pig hunt video because I've got to do my darndest to try and exterminate um, all of them. They are a real problem, invasive, and they just run amok. Um, they can reproduce in large quantities i mean they'll have like three litters a year uh, each sow will and it can just be chaotic um, they can take over property and really tear it up real fast so you got to get rid of them and on top of that they taste delicious um, that will be coming soon and we've seen plenty of evidence there because what happens in the hot summer days they love trees like this that they can 
get up under see how bushy it is and then it's got this nice they can get up under here in this nice little shaded area and they waller it out and when it rains and stuff it collects water and they've got their nice little mud and all that stuff and you see some hog prints back there so we're gonna do something about these pigs anyhow i'm gonna get back to uh back to clearing things and probably encountering snakes and odd critters here and there so well we've just about got the pasture clear now we found a path that just needed a little bit of clearing and we've got this trail um, up the pond or right right by the pond so we're clearing this out a little bit at a time and we'll have some more uh, some more bank fishing spots so I've got to load up all this uh, timber that we've timbered and uh, We'll continue clearing this spot out. Here our wood trailer is about full. All right. It's about time to head up to the front and unload it. Well, this concludes our brush clearing adventure. Hey, there's a spider on my GoPro. Hey, guy, get, get, get. This concludes a brush clearing adventure. We've uh, cleared just about everything that can be cleared on the property. We got the fence line cleared up, and uh, I think Eli. Yeah. We saved a turtle from the weed eater. Eli saved a turtle. So before we move animals down, we got to put fences up and all that stuff we'll go through that you'll see the you'll see the building of the chicken coop the rabbit colony uh, goat fences things of that nature and the new additions to our farm uh, comment below if you like seeing videos like these uh, like 
uh, hit that thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe for more videos until the next time we will see you all on the next fishing adventure bye bye <laughs>